Miss View, who previously had AIDS, is now happy to publicly announce that she has discontinued the use of antiretroviral drugs and has achieved bye-bye HIV. Miss View, what motivated you to have the courage to share your health journey with us and the public during this live broadcast today? First, I have successfully discontinued taking antiretroviral drugs and have achieved bye-bye HIV. I am now healthy and strong and thus want to share my experience with others. The second reason is that I want to campaign for people living with HIV to recognize their self-worth. The third reason is that I want to encourage people living with HIV to break free from the confinement and stigma imposed on them by society. Do you still feel like you are HIV positive after discontinuing the antiretroviral drugs? No. So you now believe that you are no longer infected with HIV? I am no longer infected. Would you feel comfortable taking off your mask? Yes, I am okay with it. We can now see Miss View's true face. Let's continue our conversation with her. Miss View's health condition before achieving bye-bye HIV. When did you start having health problems? I began to have health problems in 2016. The symptoms were coughing, shortness of breath, and difficulty breathing. The doctor said it was pneumonia. After taking antibiotics, I had a serious drug allergy. My face became swollen and I had a rash all over my body. I had a fever all the time and I was admitted to hospital so many times. At that time, my CD4 count was only 72. I heard you had to change the combination of your drugs. Is that right? Yes, there were changes in my drugs as well as the combination adjustment. So it made the treatment during that time more difficult. Miss View also had side effects from antivirals. So after that, you started to use antiretroviral drugs. What was it like? When I was taking the antiretroviral drugs, there were a lot of side effects. I could not sleep well and lost my appetite. I also had an irritable bowel. My CD4 was going up very slowly. Professor Pichette, may I ask whether every infected individual who uses antiviral drugs suffers from drug allergies like this and why? Yes. Drug allergies occur in every case, but some suffer more than others. The reason is that antiviral drugs impair the mechanism of the cells in the body to repair telomeres. First, you need to understand that once the HIV viruses enter the body, they embed themselves in white blood cells and destroy their telomeres. This weakens white blood cells and leads eventually to their demise. The HIV viruses then go searching for other white blood cells. Antiretroviral drugs are then used to prevent this HIV infection process. However, these antiviral drugs also have the side effects of destroying the telomerase enzymes, whose function is to repair and lengthen telomeres. As a result, telomeres, which naturally shorten with age, cannot be repaired and thus become shorter faster than usual. This can affect the structures of chromosomes and cause numerous side effects for the user of the antivirals. Tuberculosis in the lymph nodes was discovered in 2018. As my CD4 count dropped to a very low level in 2018, I suffered from another health problem which was swollen lymph nodes in all four areas of the neck. The doctor diagnosed me with lymph node tuberculosis. Despite taking anti-tuberculosis drugs for six months, the swollen lymph node did not go down, but instead became inflamed and swollen more. The doctor therefore recommends surgery to drain the pus out. It was very torturous. At that time, your immune system dropped to such a low level that, after surgery to remove the pus, the wound would be difficult to heal since the germs were still in your body and would return to make you sick. Meanwhile, the antiviral drugs that you were taking didn't help much. The virus would have kept multiplying. Surgery after surgery would not help treat your condition if your immune system was not strengthened to fight the disease. 
While taking an anti-tuberculosis drug may help to kill the germs, it also comes with severe side effects. Additionally, most anti-tuberculosis drugs can further decrease the user's CD4 count, which makes it challenging to increase it in the future. After using APCO immunotherapy together with antivirals for three months. After using APCO immunotherapy, my second operation on a swollen node resulted in a successful reconnection of the broken tissue and the wound healed quickly. Furthermore, the third and fourth swollen nodes subsided without any surgery and the torturous pain disappeared. I was thrilled with the positive results. When the doctor prescribed anti-tuberculosis drugs to you, Miss View, they didn't help much. However, you got better because your body built up its immunity and stimulated killer T cells that destroyed both HIV and tuberculosis germs, thereby improving your condition for both diseases. In addition, your body has also become strong. I'll explain more on this on another occasion. Miss Bill, I understand that you are a single mother who works. Yes, does your son know that you are living with HIV? If so, how did he react when he found out? My son has always known about my condition and he has given me moral support all along. Together as mother and son, we have faced and fought this challenge. His moral support has brought me to where I am today. You share your story publicly. Is your son okay with it? Yes, my son has encouraged me to keep fighting and give it my all. He says he believes in me and that I can do it. Let me tell you something. On the first day Miss View came to see us, her son accompanied her. I've already asked her son if he would be worried or embarrassed about his mother appearing on this broadcast. His response was, why should I be embarrassed? My mother raised me until I graduated with a bachelor's degree. My mother has now recovered. What is there to fear? My mother raised me until I became a fully grown man, living my own life today. Let's give a big hand for Miss View's son. Thank you. Meet Dr. Pichet Virya Chitra on the Bye Bye HIV Facebook and YouTube live programs every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. More information is available at www.bybyehiv.com. Bye bye HIV with Thai innovation.